taking a look at the power stroke used by International. Number 10 of Terry Cook as he moves on the inside. And Bravo! Early on, that's Deborah Rincha sliding sideways, trying to get a handle on it. She goes into the infield, doesn't make too much contact early on. Let's see if she can hold it down. She does not. All of the drivers woeing up, as they say, able to stay off of the number eight of Deborah Rincha. It's a good view of it right here. You see, Deborah was kind of in the middle of two trucks. You got Johnny Betts in the black 23 on the inside, Matt Kraft on the 88 on the outside. Matt did all he could do to avoid Deborah. Looked like he might have made a little contact. Now, watch as Deborah comes up the racetrack. It looks like Brendan Gaunt coming by, and yes, he did make some pretty good contact with the outside wall. The blue truck there, I, I, I wasn't sure if that was David. It could have been David Rudiman. It must have been the Spears Manufacturer 75. Yes, I believe it was, and, and that's a bad place on the spoiler. I mean, you're really going to rely on that spoiler. We've talked about how slick the racetrack is going to be. She was a little bit up off the bottom because she had a truck on her inside. Pretty slick right there. Here we see Brendan go by and does make some contact with the outside wall, but what's surprising is it looks as though Brendan stayed on the racetrack while the, we have some other trucks on pit road. Matt Kraft is on pit road. Tim Fito on a few of the other trucks, Ranky Craven, the one we mentioned earlier that, that spun out in the aftermath of this situation. Tim Fito, I got a little piece of that too as, he, uh, as she was backing up the racetrack.